Days after Sandy struck, these volunteers were distributing food and blankets to hard-hit communities and helping gut houses that were damaged. With our crew and volunteers, we visited these areas. We went door to door, home to home, uh, knocking on people's, uh, what was the situation, how could we help. These volunteers, some 450 of them, are not just rebuilding homes. They're from the Islamic Circle of North America Relief Team. They're also building understanding of what it means to be Muslim American. It's something in the mind from the back somewhere in the European history that the people uh, still think that the religious people, they cannot come together. But it is not true. Religious people can come together, they uh, can work together, and they are, they are, they are proving uh, when they are working in the field. ICNA Relief bills itself as the only Islamic organization in the country that helps nationally with disasters. Today, they're still helping storm victims tackle the biggest challenge rebuilding their homes. They were the first people to show up on the scene in this neighborhood and give everybody help. They came, they gutted out the house uh, quickly as possible. It was very emotional for me to go through, you know, what I went through, just like every other New Yorker that was hit by Sandy. And when the ICNA relief showed up, I was full, I, I was just so happy. They really helped me out a great deal. Once all the walls are patched and the electricity is rewired, the team hopes their help will have a lasting impression. If you keep our work like this, definitely we can change everybody's mind. I mean, uh, the, the good work, you can't hide them. There are different kind of people in every ethnic and religion, so there's some good, there's bad, and we are the good people. So. And so, for rebuilding homes and lives with their work and positivity, the members of the ICNA Disaster Relief Team are our New Yorkers of the Week. John Shumo, New York One.